Star Wars Rise of the Resistance is literally one of the largest and most ambitious attractions we've ever undertaken in the history of Walt Disney Imagineering. And the really great thing is very early on, Disney and Lucasfilm came together and we had sort of unprecedented access to the storytellers and filmmakers at Lucasfilm. So together, Walt Disney Imagineering and the Lucasfilm team created Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Thank you for joining the cause. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a First Order Star Destroyer. We're really immersing our guests in, in this beautiful storytelling experience. So even if you've never even watched a Star Wars film or don't know anything about it, you're still going to love this experience. They'll find their way through a series of um, internal ancient ruins where they'll meet uh, Ray and BB-8 and get a, a mission briefing. So they'll actually step forward onto an initial um, ride system, which is a, an inter-system transport ship, an ITS. They'll board that ship and go off on their mission. But along the way, the First Order finds them, discovers them. They are pulled into the hangar bay of a full-size Star Destroyer, and the same door that they entered through on the planet opens again, and now they're faced with a whole battalion of stormtroopers and escorted to a detention and interrogation cell to meet Kylo Ren. You have what I want. You know, we're using multiple ride systems that sort of hand off to one another to really immerse guests into that world. Our, our trackless ride vehicle actually engages two other ride systems, so there is a very authentic return flight to the planet Batu that involves a motion simulator and a drop experience that's really a unique, one-of-a-kind um, overall finale to an experience like this.